Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to edit text, um, both the path, the fill, the stroke, everything you need to know to do the basic text editing on here in Inkscape. So stick around and we'll get right to it. Okay, so in the last video I showed you how to use um, the Bezier or Bezier um, line tool um, to create paths that have nodes on them in selected areas. Um, and then I showed you how to edit those nodes and the segments in between. Um, messing with text, if you're wanting to do borders and different fills and stuff like that and adjust those things on there, um, works pretty much the same way. Um, there's a couple other things you have to do up here. So, um, let me show you here. We'll start with some text. Just uh, click this tool over here and then make a text box. Um, let's see, what could we use? We'll use, uh, we'll use the word tutorial. Okay, so we can go in here and now adjust this. Yeah, it's already as big as it can be, but you can, of course, change that and make it bigger. Um, and then we can move this around where we want it in here. Now the next thing you want to do is click on there and then you're going to go to path and then you want to go object to path. Okay, so we'll go like that and then if you go back in here to the edit paths by node tool each one you click on now will have a set of nodes running around the outside and inside borders of each letter even like that okay so now if you open up the fill and stroke menu and it'll pop up over here to the right you can now go in and edit the border the fill um, the stroke style stroke paint all that stuff so we'll just start with uh, this T here now if you go into the stroke style well, let's go into stroke paint or fill first. I'm sorry. Let's fill it with a different color so we can see the effect. So we'll click yellow, and then we'll drag it here to change the shade. Um, so we got a nice bright yellow there. That's pretty hard to see. So if you wanted to um, make that stand out a little bit more, you could go to this stroke style, um, stroke paint first. Click your um, color here. And then pick, of course, black or whatever other color you want to use. And then go to Stroke Style. And in here you can adjust the width of the, the outside line. And it can get pretty big. Or you can just uh, enter the value here that you want to use. It's pretty simple. Not much to it. Um, we'll go ahead and do all these real quick. And then I'll show you some more things you can do. Okay, simple enough. Really easy to do. Now the nice thing about using this uh, Edit Paths by Nodes tool is that we can even kind of create our own text here. So if you scroll in here, we'll make the T look a little different. So we'll click on here and we can just start moving things around however we want. Remember if you double click you can add a node to the line anywhere. So we'll go like that. Control to curve. And then we have this crazy looking T. You can also go down here add a node so we can pull this line out. Maybe we'll add a little curve here too. Okay, say we want to point this. Then we can drag these down to straighten them up. And do the same here. So you can do whatever you want, really. That's the nice thing about using this edit it, or edit nodes or edit paths by node tool in text so you can kind of create your own text 
Um, then you can get into adding layers in and shading behind it to make them pop and look 3D. Um, really, it's kind of limitless what you can do, but this will get you started on using um, text or editing text so you can use it in your projects. Um, I know we do a lot of um, patterns in this um, text-wise. It's really handy for using for making letter templates to lay on wood or temporarily glue to wood to um, cut them out on the scroll saw or band saw. As always, we hope this tutorial was helpful to you in some way. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please let us know in the comments below or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. If the video was helpful, please take the time to like it and share it with others you think might find it useful as well. Also, if you would like to see more of these tutorial videos or any of our project videos, please support us by subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching. Now go create something.